morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. It was extra cold this weekend, wasn't it, Anna? Yeah. Can we go uh, ice skating when it's really, really warm? No. We have to we have to let it be cold. We have to take advantage of the weather when it's here. So this morning, we're taking advantage of not only is it extra cold, but also something is happening. What's happening all around us right now? It's snowing. It's snowing this morning. So we thought on a Monday morning, very early in the morning, it would be a really good time to make ice cream, right? Yes. Oh, I think so too. So we are going to be making science ice cream this morning and we've never done this before. So this is brand new to us. Um, and we hope that maybe you'd like to do it at, at home too. So we're gonna go through all the materials we need and then we're gonna make it together. Yeah. Okay, so Anna, why don't you tell us what we have here on our little table? Um, we have a container. Okay, a container. Two spoons. That's for us to taste test it. Yes. Okay. Um, a, sp a wooden spoon and a spatula. Yep. Mm, a measuring cup. What kind, what size measuring cup is that? One. One cup measuring cup, okay. A teaspoon. Yep, one teaspoon. And then these are the and important ingredients. Vanilla. Vanilla. And, uh, let me this is called sweetened condensed milk and it comes in different sizes or um, different brands, but it's, uh, it's kind of like a dessert type of thing. It says it's concentrated milk and sugar. So that's gonna make it taste really good. And then we also need a- Big, huge container. A big, huge bowl. So what we're gonna do is we are going to try and find between eight and 10 cups of freshly fallen snow. So as you can see on this little table, all of that snow is fresh. It's perfectly fresh, right, Anna? Okay, so let's get the measuring cup. And let's start measuring all of the snow. So you can just measure, do it really, really, scrape it carefully off the top of the table because it hasn't been touched yet. You guys know that we have a dog and he hasn't even been out here yet to touch it so early. So like yep. Don't scrape it too hard on the table. Get it nice and freshly fallen. Okay, put it in. There's one cup. Should we do 11 just for good measure? Yeah. So show them how you should be scraping it really, really carefully. Um, you might, you don't wanna scrape the whole table or it'll get dirty. Right, we don't wanna have dirt in our ice cream and you want it to be freshly, freshly fallen snow. Okay, so we have in here around 10 or 11 cups of snow. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sweetened condensed milk and it has kind of a funny top on there. So I'm gonna pop it open. Okay, so I've just taken off the top of our sweetened condensed milk and it's a can. So remember that you need a grown up to help you because it will be sharp around the edges. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to really gently pour and swirl into my bowl of snow. And then Anna, can you get the, um, the wooden spoon ready for us? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's nice and freshly fallen snow and we're swirling it around. I'm not gonna use a whole can yet. I'm also gonna take some of my vanilla and this is a good chance for me to put one teaspoon of vanilla in. So remember it was between, we did around 10 cups of snow and one container of sweetened condensed milk and one teaspoon of vanilla. So it's gonna be hard to stir. You guys can see it all in there. It's gonna be hard to stir, so you kinda of have to like chop it. So you're taking your wooden spoon and you're chopping it all up because the stickiness of the sweetened condensed milk, it's not really gonna melt the snow, it's gonna stick the snow to it. Our neighbor's dog is out now. Her name's Maui. She probably wants some ice cream too. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the rest of it in. And then keep stirring it up. And as you can see, some parts of it are starting to get a little bit chunky. And I wonder, what do you think it's gonna taste like, Anna? Maybe like vanilla ice cream? Like vanilla ice cream. So this is where it's gonna take a lot of power, boys and girls. 
because you're gonna have to be patient as you stir, 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 stir. And if you find like, oh dear, this doesn't look like it's enough snow. Could you always get more snow, Anna? Yeah. Totally. So I haven't even used a whole can of sweetened condensed milk yet. And I think too, some people don't really like vanilla ice cream. They want to add more flavors to it. Maybe inside you could add like chocolate chips or something to it. But I think to preserve the taste of the snow or like the taste of the vanilla and the sweet condensed milk, you want to keep it. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. So you guys can see that it's kind of has a an interesting, it's almost like a sandy like texture to it. What do you think, Anna? Can I try and see it? I think we should try and taste it. Yeah? yeah? Maybe. Okay, so we have our spoons here. Okay. Do you take a spoon? I'm just gonna take a little bit to try. Okay, are you ready? Here we go, one, two, three, cheers. Mm. It's so good. I'm really surprised at how good it is. Are you? It's better than vanilla ice cream. It's sweet and it has like a really cool texture to it. Oh my gosh. It's really good science. It's so good. Okay, I say we use the rest of the sweetened condensed milk and get the rest of the snow in there. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do after is the reason why we have this container and a spatula and so then we can put all of the leftover. We're not going to eat all of this right now because like I said, it's around seven in the morning right now. So we'll put all of it in here and we'll squish it all down and we can freeze this. So then later, maybe after lunch or after dinner tonight with the rest of our family, we can have ice cream as a treat, snow ice cream. So with the weather, it's important to take advantage. So on really, really hot, hot days, it's really nice to be able to enjoy the sunshine and go to the beach or go swimming. On really, really cold days, it's nice to be able to go skating or go tobogganing. On days when it's packing snow, it's really nice to be able to make forts and make snowmen. And on days when there's freshly fallen snow, it's a good day to make... Ice cream. All right. Enjoy your ice cream, everyone. Okay, so we just came inside and I just poured all of it into this container and I'm just using the spatula to make it nice and flat. And then we'll put the lid on it and we'll pop it into the freezer. And hopefully it will scoop really well later. And if we want, we could add some different maybe butterscotch sauce or chocolate chips or sprinkles. Science is fun and delicious. Cause ice cream is my favorite thing, my favorite thing to eat. So many different kinds to try, so many kinds to see. And when it was my turn to say.